Hello, welcome to the video solution for Edexcel Physics. This is uh, Edexcel IEL Physics, January 2019, Unit 1. So let's uh, start. Question number 1. An object has an acceleration of uh, 6 meter per second square at an angle of 30 degree to the horizontal. Uh, which of the following expression gives horizontal component of the acceleration in ms minus 2 so you know that if you have acceleration and uh, making some angle like that and this angle is supposed 30 degree and this acceleration is given 6 uh, meter second minus 2 you need to find the horizontal component and horizontal component is the component along horizontal line like this and you know that this is a JSON component it is involved cos so if this is 6 this is uh, 6 cos of 30 degree so your option is A question number 2 a graph of a stress against a strain is uh, plotted for a steel which of the following is equal to the young modulus of the steel a typical question if you have a, a graph uh, like that, this is a stress again, a strain. Clearly, most of the time we have a straight line, something like this. So, the Young modulus is basically uh, the gradient of uh, the gradient of this line. So, gradient is a stress over a strain which is a young modulus so young modulus is the gradient so you cannot have a area so the gradient of the graph up to the elastic limit and the gradient of the graph up to the limit of proportionality so of course because we need to find the gradient of a straight line and for a straight line we have the uh, limit of proportionality so the option is D Question number three, the work surface uh, in a kitchen is made from marble. Marble is suitable for this use because it is uh, brittle, ductile, hard and malleable. Uh, the purpose of marble in a kitchen is we can uh, do many work in the kitchen, uh, especially cutting and these kinds of stuff that don't make uh, uh, the surface of the marble uh, without any marking. So the, the most suitable property of the marble here is hard because marble is hard so we can use marble in the kitchen so option is c question number four a ball is thrown vertically upward with an initial velocity of 20 an equation of the motion is used to calculate the time taken for the ball to move to a displacement of 15 meter which of the following expression shows a correct substitution of appropriate equation so when you throw some object in upward direction like that so you give some initial velocity u and then the object is covering some uh, displacement in a vertical direction whatever the displacement is let's suppose this is s and in this case s is given 15 meter but if you need to find the uh, equation so for uh, the equation should involve initial velocity and the displacement and uh, if you uh, see it, all the equations are in fact uh, s is equal to ut plus half a t squared s is 15 in all the options u is initial velocity which is uh, uh, 20 so of course initial velocity we cannot take negative so op our option b and option D. Both options are gone because of the negative uh, number of uh, the the velocity, the initial velocity. The only thing is we need to figure out uh, the sign of the acceleration. So this is free fall motion, and in free fall motion we use negative 9.8. So your our option is C. So this is S is equal to U T plus half of minus 9.81 T squared. So option is C.
Question number five, the quantity can be either a scalar or vectors, which row of the table is correct. So if you uh, memorize different vector and scalar quantities as per this uh, column, if you see this is the table gives, that gives you most uh, used quantity as a vector and or a scalar. If you see that density is a scalar quantity and velocity is a vector quantity so you cannot choose option a and b immediately you can uh, neglect but c and d both density is a scalar but for c velocity is a vector so your option is again c question number six a toy car moved down a slope and 1.5 joule of gravitational potential energy was transferred uh, the toy car gained 1.2 joule of kinetic energy which of the following could be used to calculate the work done against the frictional forces acting on the toy car from the information above so in above information we are giving only energies that initially the car had gravitational potential energy and converting into kinetic energy so newton first law of motion involves forces the equation of uniform accelerated motion there's nothing to do with the energy the equation W equal to F delta S again we it involves forces but if you see the principle of conservation of energy all energies are involved in a given information so option is D we can use principle of conservation of energy to figure out uh, the uh, frictional forces question number seven the diagram represent uh, two forces acting on an object so this is these are the two forces f1 let's suppose i'm told calling it f1 and this is f2 and uh, which of the following shows the correct way to determine resultant of these two forces clearly if you need to find the resultant of two forces a vector diagram so we need to think or we need to visualize uh, the forces uh, adding head to tail rule so you can visualize that if you add f2 into f1 or f1 into f2 so head to tail meaning you have two choices you can join f head of uh, f1 with the tail of f2 something like this so it will be your resultant this is the first choice this is your resultant f or you can join head of f2 with the tail of f1 something like this in this case you have this resultant so if you see option a b is gone c and d are similar diagram where f1 f2 and f1 are being added as head to tail f2 and f1 but but if you see in c uh, the resultant is given in opposite direction the resultant should be toward the last head uh, toward the last vector so this is your resultant f so your option is d question number eight which of the following is correct unit of uh, unit for stiffness of a spring a stiffness is basically k in the equation f equal to k x so k is equal to f upon x and from this equation unit of k is newton meter minus one but if you see uh, this is Newton meter which is absolutely wrong time is not involved Newton meter minus one but if you replace the value of n Newton and Newton is kg meter s minus two this is the value of Newton into m minus one and clearly m and m minus one is gone so the alternate unit of k is kg s minus two so your option is b Question number nine, a stationary uniform ladder 
leans against a smooth wall as shown the ground is rough so this is the rough ground and the wall is smooth which of the following diagram shows forces acting on the ladder clearly if you uh, see the situation the ladder has some weight so weight of the ladder would be acting down that means immediately you can ignore option B because weight is not given secondly because we need to find forces acting on the ladder be careful about this uh, statement need to find forces acting on the ladder so the wall is a smooth so ladder is pushing wall then wall is pushing ladder in that direction so this is another force so option A is gone and option D is also gone according to this concept because this is the force acted by the ladder to the wall so our option is C and clearly you can see here you have a weight acting down force acting on the ladder force of the wall here you have a, because the ladder is going to slip uh, uh, rightward that means there will be a friction acting on the ladder and then contact force on the ladder so these are the other two forces so option is C question number 10 a particle is falling through a fluid at terminal velocity which of the following statement is correct a particle is accelerating okay so the situation is uh, the particle is falling through a fluid at a terminal velocity terminal velocity means velocity is constant not changing if it is constant there will not there will be no acceleration velocity is not zero it, it it doesn't make any sense because it has some velocity which is constant and the resultant force if if uh, big velocity is constant acceleration constant so there will be no resultant force there is more than one force is acting on the particle this is the conclusion that we can make uh, because the velocity is constant there are two possibilities whether number one there are no forces acting at all but if there is a forces and velocity is constant so there are more than one forces which are balancing each other so you can say that there are forces acting more than one forces acting on the particle uh, so option is D question number 11 sewage is wastewater which contains solid material uh, sewage is uh, processed at a sewage works the sewage arrives at the sewage works through an open channel traveling quite uh, quickly but smoothly further along the channel there are steel blades fixed at various angles the steel blades uh, churn the sewage so that the flow is disrupted the sewage then continues at a lower speed describe the type of flow of the sewage before and after it passes the steel blade a typical question of fluid flow and if you see they are saying that before the steel blade the the uh, sewage is flowing smoothly it's all about laminar flow and after passing the blade uh, the steel blade churn the sewage and flow is disrupted so this is the turbulent flow so you need to write the definition and property of laminar and uh, uh, turbulent flow a typical definition uh, that you can say that uh, uh, the uh, flow is laminar and uh, of course there will be no mixing of layer and velocity will be constant in at any point for laminar and for disrupted the flow is turbulent and velocity will be changing layer will be mixing energy dissipated something like that these are some points that you can write so the first two line are about laminar flow and the other one is turbulent flow Describe the energy transfers that take place as the sewage passes the steel blade. Of course, the energy changes or energy transferred after passing the uh, steel blades. If you see uh, after passing the steel blade, there will be a friction, and due to friction, uh, the energy of the uh, fluid or the sewage is going to decrease. So, you need to understand before passing the steel blade. 
the fluid has only kinetic energy because it is it has laminar flow so the fluid has a uh, uh, kinetic energy and after passing uh, the blade due to friction some kinetic energy is lost and some thermal energy is produced and because kinetic energy is being lost so velocity or speed is going to decrease uh, that's why you can see in the question the savage then continues at a lower speed that's why speed is decreased two children x and y are sitting in a stationary boat as shown um, okay children child x and child y as child x throws a ball to a child y the boat moves to the left as child y catches the ball the boat stops moving explain the motion of the boat using newton's three laws of motion ignore all effects of viscous drag okay it is it this is um, a typical question of newton laws uh, if you see what happened when child x throws the ball towards y then the child x apply force on the ball then according to newton third law uh, the ball is going to apply force on the child x and child x is sitting in the boat that mean indirectly the force of the ball is going to be applied on on the boat that means you have a resultant force on leftward that's why you have acceleration in a left direction so the boat is going to accelerate uh, leftward and as soon as the ball uh, reaches at the child y and then when the uh, child y catches the ball then the ball apply force on the child y due to which we have a resultant force in a rightward direction that's because of this uh, the boat is going to decelerate and eventually is going to be stopped so you need to uh, give answer in a two different way when the child x throw the ball and then child y catches the ball so you can combine all these explanation in in the sentences like this So when the child X throws the ball, she exerts a force on the ball. Then according to Newton's third law, uh, the ball exerts opposite force on the child X. There will be a resultant force act, uh, acts on the child. Uh, so the, according to Newton's second law, the child X and our board is going to accelerate uh, uh, leftward direction. But when the child Y catches, the ball applies force on the child Y. So experience force on the rightward and the board is going to decelerate and the board, board will be stopped thank you very much for this video uh, see you next part thank you very much